Good morning, this is Aromel Magalas, your subject teacher for Practical Research 2. Quarter 1, Module 2, Kinds of Quantitative Research and its Importance Across the Field. Here are the topics for Module 2, the different types of research, approach to research, quantitative research design, and last is the importance of quantitative research across field. The different types of research The different types of research are categorized into three based on application of research method, based on purpose of the research, and last is based on the types of data needed. Based on application of research method Based on application of research method are classified into two. Pure research this research is primarily concerned with generating new knowledge. Ang ganitong uri ng pananaliksik ay ang pangunahing inaalam ay ang pagbuo ng mga bagong kaalaman. Applied Research This type of research is concerned with using knowledge to give immediate solution to a problem. Ang ganitong uri naman ng pananaliksik ay nakabatay sa paggamit ng kaalaman upang magbigay ng agarang solusyon sa isang problema. Based on purpose of the research Based on purpose of the research are classified into five. Descriptive research Correlational research Explanatory research Exploratory research And last is the action research Descriptive research This type of research aims at defining or giving a verbal portrayal or picture of a person, thing, event, group, situation, etc. Ang ganitong uri ng pananaliksik ay naglalayon sa pagtukoy o pagbibigay ng isang pandiwang paglalarawan o larawan ng isang tao, bagay, paghanapan, pangkat, sitwasyon, at iba pa. Correlational Research A correlational research shows relationships or connectedness of two factors, circumstances, or agent called variables that affect the research. Ang correlational research naman ay nagpapakita ng mga ugnayan o pagkakaugnay ng mga kadahilanan, pangyayari, o ng tinatawag nating mga variable na nakaka-apekto sa pananaliksik. Explanatory Research This type of research elaborates or explains not just the reason behind the relationship of two factors, but also the way by which such relationship exists. Ang ganitong uri ng pananaliksik ay hindi lamang nagpapaliwanag sa mga kadahilanan sa likod ng ugnayan ng dalawang mga kadahilanan, kundi pati na rin ang mga paraan kung saan umiiral ang naturang relasyon. Exploratory Research An exploratory research purpose is to find out how reasonable or possible it is to conduct a research study on a certain topic. Here, you will discover ideas on topic that could trigger your interest in conducting research studies. Ang layuni ng isang exploratory research ay upang malaman kung gaano ka posible na magsagawa ng isang pag-aaral sa pagsasaliksik ng isang tiyak na paksa. Dito, matutuklasan mo ang mga ideya sa mga paksa na maaaring magpukaw sa iyo ng interes sa pagsasagawa ng mga pag-aaral sa pagsasaliksik. Last is the action research. This type of research studies an ongoing practice of a school, organization, community, or institution for the purpose of obtaining results that will bring improvement in the system. Ang ganitong uri ng pananaliksik ay isang patuloy na kasanayan sa isang paaralan, samahan, pamayanan o institusyon para sa hangarin na makakuha ng mga resulta na magdudulot ng mga pagpapabuti sa sistemang umiiral dito. Classification of types of research is based on the types of data needed. Based on types of data needed are classified into two. First is the quantitative research. Paulette and Beck 2004 
defines quantitative research as the traditional positivist scientific method which refers to a general set of orderly discipline procedures to acquire information. Survey questionnaire is used to gather or collect information and data. Ngayong taong panuruan ang ating practical research tool, ang ating gagamitin ay quantitative research. Quantitative research ay ang proseso ng pagkolekta o pagsuri ng mga data na nakuha during the research process. Ang ginagamit ay ang survey questionnaire upang makalikom o mga lekta ng mga impormasyon. Second is qualitative research. Pollitt and Beck, 2008, described qualitative research as the naturalist method of inquiry of the research deals with the issue of human complexity by exploring it directly. Interview, experiments, notes, observation are some ways in gathering, collecting information, and data. Last school year, we have able to tackle qualitative research na nagsasangkot ng pagkolekta at pag-aaral ng mga data na hindi gumagamit ng bilang kung hindi sariling opinion ng ating mga respondents upang maunawaan ang mga konsepto, opinion, o karanasan ng mga individual. Maaari itong magamit upang makalikom ng malalim na pananaw sa isang problema o makabuo ng mga bagong ideya para sa pagsasaliksi. Topic 2, Approaches to Research Approaches to Research are classified into three. First approach, scientific or positive approach. Second approach, naturalistic approach. Third approach, triangulation approach. First approach, scientific or positive approach, in which you discover and measure information as well as observe and control variables in an impersonal manner. Therefore, the data gathering techniques appropriate for this approach are structured interviews, questionnaires, and observational checklists. Data given by these techniques are expressed through numbers, which means that this method is suitable for quantitative research. Kung saan natutuklasan at sinusukat mo ang impormasyon pati na rin ang observasyon at kontrolin ang mga variable sa isang pamamaraan. Ang data na ibinigay dito ay pinapahayag sa pamagitan ng mga numero. Na nangangahulugan, ang pamamaraang ito ay angkop para sa paggamit ng quantitative research. Second approach O naturalistic approach The naturalistic approach uses words. This research approach directs you to deal with qualitative data that is speak of how people behave towards their surroundings. These are non-numerical data that express truth about the way people perceive or understand the world. Ang research approach na ito ay nagbibigay ng mga impormasyon kung paano kumilos ang mga tao sa kanilang paligid. Ito ay mga non-numerical data na nagpapahayag ng mga katotohanan tungkol sa kung paano nauunawaan ng tao ang mundo na nangangahulugan na ang mga pamararaan o ang COP para dito ay ang paggamit ng qualitative research. Third approach or triangulation approach Combining the previous two approaches in designing your research. In this case, you are free to gather and analyze data using multiple methods allowing you to combine or mix up research approaches, research types, data gathering, and data analysis techniques. Pinagsasama ang dalawang pamamaraan sa pagdidesenyo ng iyong research. Sa kasong ito, malaya kang mangalap at magsuri ng data gamit ang maraming pamamaraan na pinapayagan kang magpagsamahin o ihalo ang mga research approaches, research types, data gathering, at data analysis techniques. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir O. See you next week.